Hey everyone, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my preview for the match coming up this Saturday, the early kickoff at the Hawthorns against West Bromwich Albion. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say apologies, massive apologies that there was no coverage of the game against Lincoln City last weekend, our 5-1 hammering of Lincoln, which in fairness wasn't really a true reflective of, of the performance that Lincoln put in. I thought they were very resilient throughout the course of the game, especially in that first half. They pressed us really well, played some very good football at times, actually had a really good opportunity to score. So 5-1, a little bit flattering on our behalf, but Lincoln, credit to them, played well, had an excellent cup run. Um, certainly didn't really deserve to be mauled in the fashion that we made it out to be. But credit to Arsenal as well. Even more credit has to go to them for getting the win after what has been a very, very difficult couple of weeks, a couple of months, in fact. Obviously, uh, trying to come back after that really disappointing result against Bayern Munich, 10-2 on aggregate. We won't get into that again because it was it was just uh, devastating. But to come back, to respond, to win 5-0, credit to the team. Obviously, the FA Cup finishing in the top four, it's not what we want, what we all want at the minute. It's all we can really do at a minute is just see Arsenal win. We all just want to be, we want to be happy supporting the team, and of course frustrations are running incredibly high at a minute. But going into this game against West Brom, I just want to see the team play well. I want us to win games, and irrespective of where we finish, irrespective of that this isn't the season that we want. All we can hope for now is just to see Arsenal play some good football. And normally at this point in the season, when we're out of almost every competition, bar the FA Cup, and we are competing for a top four finish, this is the type of Type of, uh, time of the year where we start to actually play some good football. We saw it last season. We saw Alex Awobi come through and we got that winning against Everton, got the winning against Watford. That was when we started to have that, that rather exciting patch. So, um, it, again, we've got an opportunity to start playing some thrilling football here. Again, it's, it, it just plays into that cycle that Arsenal go through season upon season, start well, have an absolute barren run, and then end up, um, the, end up the season out of practically every single competition bar the FA Cup and a top four finish. Uh, but we play some good football going into next season with more promise, yada, yada, yada. If you're an Arsenal fan, you know exactly how this uh, story pans out. But going into this game, it's going to be a very difficult one. Uh, West Brom under Tony Pulis have been exceptional at home this season. They've got an excellent record at home. Not so great against the top teams. I believe Tottenham won there, City won there, United won there. So I think we've got a very good chance in going there and getting uh, all three points. I want to see an exciting lineup from Arsenal. But let's not forget West Brom have got some very dangerous players up top now. Normally you would regard West Brom as a side that are hard to beat and they definitely are that. They don't ship a lot of goals. But up top this season, they've been very, very dangerous. They brought in Phillips and Chadley over the summer. Those two, for me, have been very good for them this season. But Rondon as well is getting on the score sheet more often than not. So a very dangerous uh, attacking team that they've got there in that sense. At the back, very resilient with the likes of McCauley. Um, I mean, you know, for an old player to still be, uh, you know, at the top of his game, I still think McCall is a pretty class act for West Brom. Um, credit to him, I believe he's about 37 years old. So I would hope that we'd go with an exciting, attacking, uh, fluid lineup. I don't particularly want to see Olivier Giroud starting in this match because I think that will play into West Brom's hands. So I want to see a front three um, with the likes of Alexis Sanchez, Fiel Walcott. And Lucas Perez in there. Danny Welbeck, I believe, is coming back into the team regarding Arsenal's injury news. I believe Chamberlain has a test. Kieran Gibbs also has a test. So a bit of a mix and match with regards to the Arsenal line. The team I want to see in full would be, I want to see David Ospina start in goal. It will be pair to check, but I still want to see David Ospina start. Hector Bellerin at right back. And then the centre-back partnership of Mustafi and Koscielny um, at left back. I'd, if Kieran Gibbs is fit, I'd like to see Kieran Gibbs start. But I've got Inkley, it's going to be Nacho Monreal. Then in midfield... Uh, I probably would opt for Chaka Ramsey and then if Oxley chamberlains fit, I'd play him ahead of them. But I think it's going to be a midfield of Chaka, Ramsey and then Meza Oza, which I think is also very exciting. But uh, for me, considering how the Ox has been playing, I would like to see him carry on uh, within the team. And then that front three that I mentioned, Walcott, Alexis, Perez. For me, Perez um, has to be playing more. I mean, we've been saying this for about six, seven, eight months now. Uh, I'd love to see him get a start in an Arsenal shirt in this game for me. If he's not going to start against Lincoln, then it kind of does imply that he's not going to be playing a lot throughout the course of the season. I don't think he will start this game. But if he isn't to start, I'd move Alexis out to the left, play Danny Welbeck up top with Fiala Walcott. Uh, just fluidity up top. Fluidity, speed, power, pace. And I don't think we're going to get that with Olivier Giroud. I'd bring him on as an impact sub and he can be as effective as he was at the start of the season. So for me, that's the Arsenal team I want to see play. Score prediction, I'm going to go for, I've got to be positive, going to go for a 2-1 two, two, win for the Arsenal. I think we'll struggle to keep a clean sheet. But as I say, um, I'm not too bothered about finishing in the top four this season. I know in terms of finances for the club, and you could argue it does help attract the big name players over the summer. I don't really care about that. I just want to see Arsenal play good, thrilling football, football that will excite me. I want to see us beat Manchester City in the, in the semi-final of the cup. I want to see us win the FA Cup, send Arsene Wenger out on a high, and we can take it from there. But 
Um, you know, it's, it's, it, as, uh, as it has been for a number of weeks now, it's a very difficult position to be in as an Arsenal fan. Um, not a lot to look forward to this season. So as I say, let's just play some good football. Hopefully we'll be able to watch Match of the Day um, you know, on Saturday evening. And yeah, that's all I can really ask for at the minute because there's not really a great deal else we're competing in by the FA Cup. Also, I just want to say before I do wrap up this video, thanks for your tremendous support of my documentary. If you haven't seen it yet, The Stagnating Giant, type that into YouTube and you'll be able to see it. I've got some fantastic feedback on that. It's got an exceptional amount of views and to everyone that's liked it, left a comment, left me a message on Twitter. Honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me to uh, to receive that kind of feedback. It's some really kind words, some really kind messages. So thank you for, for uh, all, all your kind words. And um, I will try to make those documentaries, those features a more regular thing. But uh, for the meantime, this has been my preview for the game on Saturday against West Bromwich Albion. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game. And I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.